Sixth grade, module six, lesson six, problem set. Number one, a game was played where 10 tennis balls were tossed into a basket from a certain distance. The numbers of su successful tosses for six students were four, one, three, two, one, and seven. Draw a representation of the data using cubes where one cube represents one successful toss of a tennis ball into the basket. All right, so I'm going to draw using cubes. So we have four. I'm not gonna actually draw cubes, I'm just gonna draw that. You can tell that's it. You can tell uh, that's supposed to be four cubes. One, three, two, one, and then seven. Someone got seven. So there are our cubes. Represent the data using a dot plot. Okay, so we have anywhere ranging from one to seven. So two, three, four, five, and six. Let's see, we have two ones, a one, two, a three, a four, and a seven. So there's our dot plot. Let's call it number of successful throws or tosses. Okay, two, find the mean number of successful tosses for this data using the fair share method. For each step, show the cube's representation in the corresponding dot plot. For each step in words in the context of the problem, Explain each step in words. You may move more than one successful toss in a step, but be sure that your explanation is clear. You must show two or more steps. Okay, so now we're going to rearrange these into a, um, a fair share method. So we're gonna take this and use it. I'm gonna put them in order. So we have one, one, two, three, four, and seven. And let's see. So if I were to do it first, what I would do is I would take two from the seven and add them onto the ones. So let's start by doing that. So we would have um, three twos. One, two, three, two's. And a three, a four, and a five. So we're closer to having a fair share here. So let's explain what we did. So I shared two, two from the seven. and made three that have two blocks. Or more specifically, let's say we made two more. And there's not one right or wrong way to do this. So this is just how I'm doing it. There are a lot of different ways to fair share this. So let's dot plot it. We just need to go from two to five. So we have three twos, a three, a four, and a five. So what do we want our next step to be? So our next step, um, I'm gonna take from the five again and a four, and let's make these, let's add to that. So I would have, a two, two threes, or three threes. Oh, well, wait, four threes. So we're getting closer to having a fair share and a four. 
So I shared one each from this five, five and four, which made two more three blocks. And then our dot plot, so we have two, three, four. We have a two, four threes, and a four. Okay, so all we need to do is share one more time, and I'm just gonna take from the four and add it over here. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six threes. So there's our dot plot. So I shared one from the four to the two. So now it's all fair share. So we everyone has three. So the mean would be three if they were all shared evenly. Number three. The number of pockets in the clothes worn by four students to school today were four, one, three, and six. Paige produces the following cubes representation as she does the fair share process. Help her decide how to finish the process now that she has stacks of three, 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 and five cubes. Okay, so it looks like we have three threes, and we want this one to also be a three to match, which means we have two extra cubes here. So if we took two cubes, and we need to split it between one, two, three, four, divided by four sets, we would get two divided by four, or one half. So each one is going to get a half a cube. So we wanna add one that looks kinda of like a half. That wasn't very helpful, but these halves would all add up to the two full cubes. So each one would be one, two, three and a half would be a fair share. Number four, suppo suppose that the mean number of chocolate chips in 30 cookies is 14 chocolate chips. Interpret the mean number of chocolate chips in terms of fair share. So that means if there are 30 cookies, the mean number of 30 cookies is 40 chocolate chips, then that's meaning that in each of the 30 cookies, there would be 14 chocolate chips. So in each of the 30 cookies, there are 14 chocolate chips. B, describe the dot plot representation of the fair share mean of 14 chocolate chips and 30 cookies. So if we had a dot plot under 14 chocolate chips, there would be 30 different dots to represent that there were um, 14 in each of those 30 cookies. So let's say there should be 30 dots on the dot plot on the plot, all stacked at 14. Number five, suppose the following lengths are lengths in millimeters of radish seedlings grown in identical conditions for three days. So all of those are grown for three days. Those are the lengths. Find the mean of these 15 radish seedlings. So I'm gonna use the traditional formula for finding mean rather than this fair share stuff. It's going to be a lot of drawing, a lot of moving things around, and so I think it's time we can just move on to the formula. So what we're going to do is add all of these together. So you would add 12 plus 11 plus 12 plus 14 plus 13 plus 9. So we're adding all of those together.
And then when you add them all together, you can add them up yourself, or maybe you can use a calculator, you get 182 millimeters. So if you add all of those together, you get 182 mi millimeters. Then what we need to do is count how many there are. So they tell us there's 15 radish seedlings. So we're gonna take all of those and evenly distribute it between the 15 seedlings. So 15 can't go into one, it goes into 18 once. Bring down the two, 15 goes into 32 twice. So we have two left over, 12 and two left over out of 15. So 12 and 2 15 millimeters would be the mean length. Which you would have gotten the same thing if you had done the seedling sharing, fair share method, but it gets really complicated once you start trying to share like pieces of fifteenths, right? So that's why we have this formula that just gets us straight to the answer. So B, interpret the value from part A in terms of the fair share mean length. So B, so if each of the 15 seedlings all grew the same length, they would be 12 and 2 15 millimeters long.